Hello everyone, welcome to Lesson 4 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the at implementation portion of our rectangle class. So previously, uh, we worked with the at interface section, which basically uh, defines all the instance variables that we're going to use, and basically the name of the function or method with its parameters. So that's pretty much all the at interface section does. It kind of just sets up what the method will look like. But the at implementation portion is actually what we're going to do with our methods. So to start out, um, just get familiar with the methods we have. We have set height, set width, and set height width. So those are the methods that we're going to have to explain how they work. So let's go ahead and um, here we're going to uh, go ahead and leave that. And that's the start of our first method. So set height is the first method that we want. So let's go ahead and autofill that. And here we just create two curly braces to say inside this method, this is the code that we're going to execute. So we have one parameter here, new height, which when we use this in our, um, in our code, we want to assign whatever value new height is to height. So all we're going to do is height gets new height. So simple enough. The next part, we're just using, um, we're just setting the width. So set width, and uh, that's pretty much that. And it works the same way. We're just passing whatever new width is. So width is going to get this new value. Width gets new width. There you go. So then let's move on to our last function, set height. And as you can see here, um, it's still giving this option of the first method. And we don't really want this first method, we want the other method that we have. We don't really want to keep typing and finding um, until we get to that next method. There's actually a way um, in Xcode to see all the methods that you basically have as options with what you've typed so far. And it's extremely, extremely useful. So um, I'll show you how this works right now. So we've, al we've already gone and typed set H, but it's not the method we want. So if we go ahead and hit the escape button, it will give us these two different options, or it will give us all the options basically that are available when we, with whatever we type. So uh, since we've typed set h out so far, we have two different methods that we can use, set height and width, and we want this one, so we just double click that, and it will autofill in that method. And believe me, this gets extremely useful later on when, you're, when you have a bunch of methods that you can't really remember the name of. Um, if you're just looking to see what different methods you have available, then sometimes it can be an extremely useful thing. So uh, this method works pretty much the same way. Um, new height and new width are the two parameters that we're going to use. So obviously height will get our new height, and width will get our new width. And that's how that works. So simple enough. Now, um, there's so far one problem, though, that going to happen when we're actually using this in our code. We don't actually have any way of um, accessing any of these instance variables. We can set them all we want, but we're not going to be able to use them in our program. So when we go to print out their values, we have no way of actually getting that information. So we're going to actually add a few getter methods, and the reason I didn't include this in the last tutorial was it was getting pretty long, and I didn't want to um, go over my limits here. So let's just add a few accessor methods to each of these things. We're just going to have two, one to receive the height and one to receive the width. So again, we start our method with the minus sign and we're returning our height or our width. So all we want is an integer as our return type. So we'll say integer and uh, setter and getter methods in um, objective C, you don't say, you never say like get height or get width, that's just not an objective C thing. Um, when you're using getter methods in objective C, you simply use the name of um, the variable itself, so something like this, int height, and that's as complicated as it gets. You never you say, you never want to say get height, because that is um, just something different altogether. So when you're um, when you're using your accessor methods, just call them the actual parameter that you're using when you're um, the one that you want to return, basically. And it works uh, fine the way it does. So, um, 
that's all we have to do to have two accessor methods to return the value of height and width. So we've created them on the face value in our interface file, but let's go back to our implementation and say what they're going to do. So let's go a few things down here, and let's just write out um, the thing that we had before. So we just copied what our method was in our interface file, and um, we're just now we're just explaining what this function is going to, to going to do. So it's going to return the value of height. So simply enough, we're going to say return height, and that's pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. Um, all that means is when we run this in our program, it can return the integer value of what height is. So when we go to print this information out, it will it will return the value of height in our program. So uh, let's go ahead and um, make our next one. And our next one was called width. So uh, let's go ahead and make our curly braces. And all we want to return is the value of width. So there, we just made our two getter methods. And now when we run our or when we use these in our program. Uh, if we want to print out the value of height, all we have to call is our height method, and it will return the value of height. So that's um, pretty much all we have to do for our at implementation and our at interface files for now. Um, we'll definitely be learning more on these things that are certainly not done with, but um, that's all of what we're going to be learning right now. So again, um, one thing I just didn't cover though quickly is that every one of these um, times you do at implementation or at interface then you have to use the at end thing just it auto it automatically doesn't and I figured it would it's kind of obvious I guess but um, I better cover it anyway or people might be yelling at me so um, the at implementation portion every time you're done with it you just end it with at end and the same with the at interface portion you do at interface and when you're done with it just use at end so simple enough I guess so anyway, uh, this is this was the tutorial on your at implementation portion, and in the next tutorial we'll be getting to uh, more detailed information on how uh, this class is actually going to run. So um, let's uh, just finish this tutorial, and in uh, lesson five we'll get to actually running these things and using all these methods inside of our program. So it should be interesting. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below or send me a message via YouTube. And uh, if you have anything else, you can visit the channel. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Thumbs up the video if you enjoy, and please subscribe to the channel. See you next tutorial.